Hi, my name is Randy Stegemoller, and I'm with Co uh, Class 101 College Planning. I want to talk today about AI and ChatGPT. First, I want to tell you a story. One of our students, uh, when she went on to uh, go to university, was in a class, and the professor had requested that she write an essay. Uh, it was a short essay. It was just a you know like a quarter page. It was just a couple of couple of sentences, a small paragraph, and it was assignment for the entire class. And the entire class, it's right when ChatGPT became popular. And uh, they went ahead and several of the students used it. In fact, when the uh, professor went and ran a checker on it, found that greater than 80% of the class had used ChatGPT. Now, our student had not, thankfully, uh, so she did not uh, have any repercussions to using it. But uh, that was kind of the first run-in that we had with ChatGPT last year. And unfortunately, in that class, all of those students got Fs. Uh, now, is that still going to be the case moving forward? I don't know. I think that's a case-by-case -case situation. But I think that it's here to stay. ChatGPT is here. We're going to be using those types of tools, those AI tools, uh, in and around business, in and around work, in and around school. Um, so I think they're here to stay. So how can we use them in a way that's responsible and uh, still get to have your voice in your essays? So as you're working on college essays, right now is the time we're all applying to college. All our seniors are applying right now. Uh, it's important that your essay have your voice, that it have uniquely your words as opposed to an AI tool. Um, if you use an AI tool, it's easy to pick up that it's not your words. Sometimes they don't even make sense. Uh, but is it a tool that can be used to your favor? Yes, absolutely. Um, not to write your entire paper. Don't do that. That is easily found. There are plagiarism tools that can find those. But what we want to do is maybe generate ideas with ChatGPT or, or brainstorm different thoughts and, and ways to write your essay. Um, that's a great way to use that tool. In addition to that, you might use it to help with grammar. Some, several of our students struggle with grammar and, and structure of sentences, and that's a great way to take your sentence and maybe make the structure better. Uh, another way might be to uh, help with that final review of that essay for clarity and for um, just that it, that it have that good connectivity uh, throughout the entire essay. Uh, one of the things that we do within Class 101, we are a college planning company, and what we help students do is write that essay and find that great subject. We have actually writing workshops to help them with creativity, come up with that amazing, fun opening that captures the reader. Uh, ChatGPT will struggle with that. Um, it definitely will give you ideas, uh, but it might not be able to help with that fun, creative piece that you're looking for. So if you're looking for help with this process, contact Class 101 at class101.com backslash Bloomington IN or backslash Carmel IN. Thanks again and uh, get writing those essays. We've got them due November 1st.